everyone my name is Chidima you are highly welcome so guys I'm super excited in today's video I'm going to do this color to you makeup challenge so I'm using this lip palette I'm going to list the name of this brand in my description in case you're interested just get a lip palette that has the three primary, primary colors that's red blue and yellow that's the three primary colors so from these three primary colors you can get any color of choice okay um, i first added my red then yellow then blue and i rub everything together if it is not giving me the exact brown i want because these three colors mixed together will give you brown so depending on the depending on the shade of brown or how deep or how light your brown is you add any of the primary colors accordingly okay so I first go in with this way i add them in the proportion i feel that is appropriate for my complexion so i start rubbing it in as you can see i notice that it's giving me a kind of reddish brown so to correct that reddish brown, I will add a little bit of yellow and or yellow and blue just to correct to get my perfect shade of brown. Okay, so guys, I'm going to use this palette for literally everything on my face apart from my the um, dry powder and my brows. Okay, I'm going to use this palette for contour, for highlight for blush and for my lips so if you are interested please don't click out keep watching so you see the end result at the end of this video and again if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing and before you continue watching this video please give this video a huge thumbs up okay like the video please very important like this video i'm super excited keep watching i'll come back and talk to you guys again so this is what my face feels like right now and for my contour i'm going in with the, the these colors um red um blue and a little bit of black to get a darker brown okay so um as you can see the the, this method feels so lightweight on the face. I was not even feeling, after rubbing it, I didn't feel like I applied any makeup. So like I said, depending on your shade, maybe you can do a um, trial to get your, to get the colors or know the colors or master the colors that suit your complexion. So this is me applying the contour using my finger i use my finger or my hand to do all the makeup okay share my face the foundation the contour the blush the eye shadow yeah and everything is from this palette except my eyebrows because i use an uh, an eye pencil for the eyebrows okay so this is what the contour is looking like so far as you can see that everything i thought i'm loving this method then for my highlight i'm using this yellow and purple shade for my highlight so stay tuned keep watching so that you'll see the result of this color combination on my face okay and again you know this is a an oil based color i don't know how they made this color because it's meant for lips but i'm using it for my face i don't know if it will last i didn't check that but so far so good after making it and top it up with my top it with my powder face powder everything set so i don't want to talk too much i wanted the guys to see this result i wanted to see everything and tell me what you think about this video in the comment section okay i hope you guys will enjoy this video please stay tuned keep watching i'll be right back
so to make the concealer pop out more i added or i'm adding the white um color immediately under my um uh, outer corner of my eyes just to make the concealer a little bit lighter then i blend with my fingers usual then for my blush i'm missing red and white when you miss red and white you get pink so i'm going for a pink blush so i make sure i miss them thoroughly the two colors as you can see the white is higher than the red so i went in and added the red to make the brown more um, visible or um, the way i want it so i will apply the brown on my cheek the apple of my cheek and blend it towards my hairline then i'll go in further to use my beauty sponge to blend it in I also added on my nose the point or highest point of my nose then that's all as I said I went in or I go in with my beauty blender beauty sponge to blend it in well so I'm using a damp beauty blender here to blend in the blush this is pink blush that I use remember I said I missed red and white red should be higher than white or red should be bigger or greater than white the proportion so that you get the darker or this shade of pink that I'm using here then to set my highlight I use my setting powder to set my under eyes and I think the bridge of my nose as as I did not I don't think I did not add um, the highlight on the bridge of my nose just set it under my eyes then brush it off mistake I made is I used a damp beauty sponge to apply the setting powder and it's making it cakey and difficult to blend and that's why i'm trying my best to make sure that i don't have any harsh line or any um, powder sticking on one particular place then i'll go in with my face powder the powder i'm using here is the vc gold in the shade i don't know i'll still list it in the description if you're interested to know the product i use check the description box to know the product i use because i'm going to list them the so I'll go in with the, my face powder to set the whole of my face because this is an oil base, like I said, it's an oil base color. I'm going to set my face with this powder and the brush. Then the next thing I'm going to do now is um, I will set the contour using the Zara face definer to set the contour so that it will pop out more. Then I will use the same brush to contour the bridge of my nose with the same uh, powder, face definition powder. So for eyeshadow, I first went in with red color from that same palette, but I didn't like how bright the red was looking. So I added this purple, light purple that I'm showing you guys to see what it will turn or what it will look like and i think i like the shade of red or the shade it's giving me for my eyeshadow as i see i'm using my finger to blend it in then for my brow i'm using this david's pencil to draw my brows i didn't do much just to draw the brows i didn't highlight the brows i didn't clean the brows with concealer because you know we are trying to use just uh, everything from this uh, lip palette so i just drew my eyebrows with the david's pencil that's all 
then after that I'll go in with uh, the black shade from the Stanley palette to do my eyelining to line my eyes that's it for now and keep watching guys okay I'll come back and talk to you guys again So for my lips, I'm using the Osblot color from the same palette. Is it Osblot or is there this this shade of red? Is a dark red or Osblot from this the same palette? And I apply it with my lip brush to line my lip. Then I smack my lips. This is what I'm looking like so far. I'll go in with this. Uh, lip gloss the pink lip gloss on top of the liner lip liner lip liner i will apply the lip gloss and there here we take bring us to the end of our video and this is what we are looking like so after applying everything and this is what the contour the Consider everything is this is everything using one lip palette to achieve this look so guys let me know your thoughts about this makeup challenge in the comment section did i kill it did i try if you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment i hope to see you guys again in the next video bye